Hello, Cancerians. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. And to those of you who it's your first time, welcome to you. I am Denise. This is Surrender to the Flow of Tarot. And today I'm going to be doing a monthly um, general reading for the Collective of Cancer. So that's whatever placement you have cancer, any of the 11 is fine. They will all work. Okay, so how I'm going to do it, the format is by weeks. So we're going to start with week one, week two, week three, week four. How does it start? How does it end? 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 And then pull a healing card, oracle card overall for you for the end. We're using the Tower of Curious Creatures and we're clarifying with the muse, both by the same designer, Chris Ann. She's super dope. Okay. Getting right into it because I have acupuncture. So... Hence, this is my acupuncture clothing. Um, okay. Are you ready, Cancerians? I've really been, I really like this format, and I would love to know in the comments what you think about the format. And I just want to talk uh, really quickly about the mid-monthlies. They might seem long in length if you haven't watched one. Um, so what I'm doing there is each astrological sign is broken down into three parts called deacons and wherever your birthday is determines where which deacon you're in so I've been doing the readings mid-monthly in deacon one deacon two deacon three and doing full readings for each deacon um and they all overlap every single one of them has overlapped they just show up in different levels and stuff so there you go just wanted to let you know that okay ready cancerians week one how's it starting we're in it right now, week one, right? Justice in reverse. Three of cups, that's how it's ending, okay. Coming in with justice in, re in reverse, going out with three of cups. Week two. The Queen of Pentacles sideways going into the reverse. Okay. Week two, how's it going? How's it ending? The Seven of Swords. The Knight of Swords flipped but didn't fall out. Whoo. All right, Cancer, let's see week three. Four of Cups. The Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. <sighs> Cancer, okay. Week four, let's see. The Nine of Wands flipped around, but it feels like a battle. It feels like a battle with yourself. The Nine of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Definitely someone else too though. The Eight of Cups. Week four, week four for Cancer. The Queen of Swords. We want to see that. You saw that, right? And the Hermit in reverse. We have the Hierophant on the split and the King of Pentacles on the bottom. So there's a divine counterpart out. Okay. Two of Wands is underneath the King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is underneath the Hierophant. Ooh, so this absolutely has to do with your lifelong plan, right? This has to do with your legacy. It has to do with the foundation of you, the care and keeping of you and building it and who you let in with it, who, who your team is, right? It's, it's a past life connection. It's a soul contract. It's something you feel very bound to, um, 
that looks like there's been some kind of betrayal here and you are waiting for justice to be served. Let's clarify, yeah? You start with justice in reverse and you leave with the hermit in reverse, which is the healing has been done and you have, you have been in isolation. You have, you have gotten the light from the star and you are coming out of it, right? It's good. It's good. The queen of swords and the hermit that in reverse are a good way to be. Even if the hermit was in the upright, that would still be good. Okay. Let's see how this breaks down. Yeah. Justice in reverse. What can you tell? Cancerian. So that's Libra. Justice is the Libra card. Queen of Swords is Libra card. So we have two Libra cards. If you have Libra in your chart or you're dealing with the Libra, we have um, Taurus and Capricorn. And the Hermit is Virgo. Okay. Justice in reverse. What can you tell Cancerians about? Did I not show you any of these? I'm really sorry. Justice in reverse, the three of cups, starting ending, week two, queen of pentacles going into the reverse and the seven of swords. Week three, the four of cups and the six of wands and the five of pentacles. and the Queen of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, sorry about that. What can you tell Cancerians about why justice is in reverse? It's not time yet is what I'm hearing in my head. I almost feel like this is justice for you, the Eight of Swords, which is anxiety, being stuck in the thinking and letting it per per um, penetrate your being, you know what I mean? Where it's starting to deplete your reserve. My feeling is that you have been wronged and the justice hasn't been served yet. But I don't know, but it was the chariot, which is you, which is cancer. <sighs> okay, we need more than that about why the justice is in reverse because that doesn't answer it. Does this answer it? The seven of wands, the six of cups, and the knight of wands which some of those had wanted to come out, the Four of Cups and the Two of Cups. Jesus, okay. think that you've done a lot of healing and there's still a battle that happens between your your knowing and your being and you want things to move faster than they are right you want to you you feel like you're rooted in the truth and you're so tired of having to defend yourself or having to like present your case having to remind people of who you are. You've made peace with, you're making peace with your reactions versus your responses. Does that make sense? And you're trying to bring it all together. I don't think you start off the week totally ready to hold the justice in your hand. Do you know what I mean? But this is 100% about love, about partnerships and relation, relating in love, matters of love. 
Okay, let's see the Three of Cups. Because that could be a reconciliation. That could just be a joining of a group. We haven't seen people in a while, a support team. Let's see, what, what can you tell Cancer about the Three of Cups? And how week one will end. What can you tell Cancer about the Three of Cups? The devil. Hmm. What else? Okay. What a devil. Anxiety. The eight of the eight of swords came out again. Okay. Do I want one more? Can I the hermit on the split and the three of pentacles on the bottom? Maybe you're having a difficult time letting other people in or letting this person in. Because trust was eroded at some point. One more for the devil, one more. Because where we go in week two is you're at the queen of pentacles, which is self care, but you're not steady. You're heading toward the not taking care of yourself. Right, So it feels like there's an attachment to this ending or finality that you really want. And it's you're letting it, it's, it's very distressing to you and you haven't been able to separate yourself all the way from the thoughts and the, you know, I feel like there's ruminating happening, ruminating happening, ruminating happening and fear. One more about why this devil is here for the Three of Cups. Page of Wands and the Six of Pentacles so, and the Wheel and the Ace of Emotions. What I think is there's been an offer to you or something and it hasn't, it, it wasn't reciprocal. You haven't been in an equal, in an equal relationship, an equal partnership and that's what you're looking for and you're maybe, you're holding off on that. But look at what the devil is coming up because they, you might be self-sabotaging. There's some kind of self-sabotaging in there that has to do with your ideas about partnership in general, right? So look for the areas where you're still self-sabotaging. Let's go to week two with the Queen of Pentacles and see why she's heading into the reverse, okay? I think the King of Pentacles is your is your person and you're the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles and you might have you might be an empress the king of wands the king of wands okay what else Else about the Queen of Pentacles in week two. Justice in the upright. Okay. Are you dealing with an emperor? The Six of Wands. The Eight of Wands.
Oh. Are you going as the King of Wands, which is Leo, but it could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, going to make you and come to you and bring you a message? There's something that you're going to find out about this King of Wands or from this King of Wands, and it's unsettling. Seven of Swords is underneath it, so let's pull on that. Why the Seven of Swords? Why the Seven of Swords? This is somebody that you is tied into your legacy. And so I think maybe it's you're figuring out if they are, if it's a soul, a karmic psych, a karmic or a soulmate. You know what I mean? Temperance. Okay. Just Sagittarius, right? Yeah. I always think it's so interesting that the Knight of Wands and Temperance are Sagittarius. They're so opposite, right? It's interesting. All right. The moon. That's you. And the two of pentacles in reverse. I want one more, just one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. The world. And the Empress. Okay, knew that was coming. The Nine of Cups and the and the king of pentacles again okay wow the nine of wands the six of swords You're going to just, I think you're going to find out what you're going to find out is really going to test you. And you're left in a place where there's still some things I think you don't know, and you have to leave this up to the universe. It's nothing you can discern on your own. It's a thing you have to be like, you have to get yourself back into alignment and into your power as the empress, right? I want to look at the two of pentacles in reverse. This is gonna come in in a, like a rush, I think. There's gonna be a lot of passion underneath. There are a lot of feelings and a lot of magnet magnetism. You feel me? You're gonna feel a lot of ways. It's gonna stir a lot of things. The two takeaways of this are temperance and the empress, okay? Temperance is a test from the universe and so is strength, right? Temperance is a test of the mental kind where you are attached to an outcome and you're trying, you're inserting yourself into things, you're trying to think your way into, you're, there's still control. You have expectations on when this should happen and you're, tr and you're actively trying to control and manipulate um, things to get the outcome. And temperance is saying, you have to stop that. You're almost there. 
just take care of you, the care and keeping of you. Get this Queen of Pentacles in the upright so you can be the Empress in the upright, right? And the answers will come in, all right? Whew, Cancer. All right, let's look at week three. <laughs> You're looking at the time. Week three, which starts out with the Four of Cups. So whatever this is that you find out, it leaves you in a place where you're not, you're not sure. An offer is, is being made and you're not, you're not sure about it. There's a, you've withdrawn yourself because it almost feels like it looks too good to be true for you. You know what I mean? Like you're like, I don't know. It starts off with the Four of Cups and it ends with the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, which are in direct opposition to each other. It's this, it's this um, ex, um, acknowledgement from outside of success, of like a reaffirmation. And then it's this inside you're feeling like, no, I don't deserve this. No, I don't deserve this. You're struggling. Maybe you're struggling with letting yourself be have good things like that you're worthy let's see what the four of cups is okay the queen of cups and the three of swords the Three of Cups, which we got there too, and the Five of Wands. This is about you. This is about an offer. This is about you having a tendency to get in your head and to talk yourself out of good things and also to talk yourself into things that you 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 pretty much know that aren't good or you're pretty sure you have a warning feeling and you're you're not just stopping there with the warning feeling. That's where you stop. You don't really have to go further. <laughs> your, your internal system wouldn't alert you like that if it was positive. You feel me? Like the Queen of Cups and the Three of um, Swords. You're healing still. You're still healing this heartbreak from this King of Wands. That's you, by the way, Queen of Cups, in your power but not all the way. You do though, you get there because week four is the queen of swords. So I knew this was Empress energy. There's so many queens. You know what I mean? Think that you feel, you feel not worthy and, it, and there's an element of that that, is, that was born from your external circumstances reiterating to you that you are not enough, you're not good enough, pretty enough, whatever it is, handsome enough, smart enough, but it has to do with feeling like you're in, you have this inherent feeling, this old false belief that you're not enough. And you are enough. Okay, you are enough. The Six of Wands. Let's look at the Six of Wands, okay? All right. What can you tell us about the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles for Cancer and the way week three is heading out? Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles. The King of Cups. In the upright. Divine counterparts twice. Did we have an emperor? But you're definitely dealing with an emperor. So we got three kings, right? And three and three queens and an empress. So yes. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, my heart. I feel like the 10 of cups, this is like your, and the nine of wands. It, you're working toward your, your authentic self's desire, your heart's desire. When I say your heart's desire, I mean your authentic self's true desire. You're working toward that and you just don't know about this. I'm going to ask something different. What is the intentions of the King of Cups towards the Queen of Cups? Toward Cancer. What is the intentions of the King of Cups toward the Cancer?
if this isn't happening physically, it's happening energetically where you're, there's like, yeah, loose ends, you know, what I, or I don't know, tying up loose ends keeps coming in my mind. Okay. That's upright. The ace of voices. Ooh, but it's in, it's sideways. It feels like, I'm gonna reshuffle these, hold on. Like coming in with the truth under the guise of clarity, but maybe not giving you everything. So let's see, okay? What else about the intentions of this King of Cups toward Cancer? What else? What else can you tell us? Why is this Ace of Swords? not afraid there's a halt on the on clarity coming why the hermit ah the hermit in reverse is coming up next it's like a a battle from this king of cups between it's courage it's courage they're getting up the courage to come to you and tell you the truth and the root of both is is there's a for both of you is fear of abandonment is at the bottom okay okay gosh cancer okay week four queen of swords Am I going to be able to, oh, I can't be late. I can't be late to acupuncture. Okay. Queen of Swords. Why the Queen of Swords on week four? Which is good. You're, you're in your power. You're in, you're in the truth. You are the truth. You're just a beacon of the truth. That's where you get to. That's where you get to. With whatever this offer is, you you have sat with yourself. You're not thinking, you're not meditating exactly. You're just taking care of you. You're being present. And the truth is showing itself to you. Why the Queen of Swords? The Six of Wands. Which already came out in the week before, right? It's your, you've got it. You've reached the next level and you have profoundly changed in who you are. And it's obvious from everyone around you. Let's do one more for the Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands on the bottom. You're strong about what you know, what this commitment, what this connection is. You know what it is. One more for the Queen of Swords. Oh, come on. I have to, I can't just like, even though I could have ended it. Okay. The five of wands and the page of, of swords in reverse. Yeah, you're done with the looking over your shoulder. You're done with the not trusting, with the like waiting for the other shoe to drop, with, um, fact finding and like looking for clues. You're done with it. You're done with feeling competitive. You're done with feeling not enough. You're done with feeling not secure in your own abilities to discern what is good for you. The wheel is on the split. That's right. And the six of six of swords, which is the removing of yourself for healing. When you completely remove yourself from anything that doesn't serve you to go into a new direction. So let's see the hermit, right? So, hmm. Let's see this hermit in reverse. I feel like it's your coming out party. The five of cups. The bottom is the five of swords. The split is the nine of wands. 
what came out as the Knight of Swords. And the Four of Wands going into the reverse, both of them. Hold on. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm pulling my book out. I don't care. Okay. There's a little bit of trepidation still in your own, in your abilities to count on yourself, in your abilities to, to cut out what doesn't serve you. It's maybe around like your idea of what a healthy relationship is. Look at what the models for you were growing up and see what you've taken on as your own belief that isn't necessarily yours, right? You're in your power, the queen of swords, but there's still the hermit in reverse, which is like you're ready to be not in isolation, but you're not totally sure. There's still a little bit. Of, of insecurity there in yourself, for yourself. Don't give up. Don't give up. You are, you are the queen of swords. You are what you are the queen of swords. Okay. You, you are knowing you are the knowing you are the knowing one more card. Jesus. Yeah. I'm going to be late. No. Okay. One more. God damn it. I don't normally do this, but I did this for Gemini and I feel like you need it. One last card of advice for one, what can you give cancer for the month of February? What should they keep their eye on and focus to keep them in their path to their highest vibrational good? Ah, not taking this. Um, <sighs> One more card. There's so many cards on the table. That's what I think. Like the one it really wanted. The tower in reverse. Don't be your own obstacle. Don't fight the changes. Don't stay a caterpillar. Choose the things that help you go toward becoming a butterfly. Don't stay in your comfort zone, okay? All right, oh my God, I'm gonna be late, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not okay, but uh, I gave myself a tiny buffer, but yeah, I'm, I'm over the buffer. So let's do your healing card. Okay, the cancer for the month, overall for the month.
too. Tranquility at home leads to health. Home is for resting, renewal, warmth, and love. If this is not the atmosphere in your home, what can you do today that contributes to changing it? And without hope, we live in desire. Ask yourself, what are my desires? Then ask, what are my genuine needs? Discover how casually you desire things you have no real value, that have no real value for you. Then you'll realize how easily you lose your power. That speaks directly to temperance for me, right? Having faith in the universe, the queen of swords, having faith in yourself. and really being clear about what are your deal breakers? What are those things that you require for the care and keeping of you every day for yourself first, independent of anybody else? And then what are the things that you require in a partner? You feel me? Okay, Cancer, thank you for um, hanging out with me. Thank you for sharing your energy and holding space for me. Sorry, it was a little bit rushed there. Um, I will see you in two weeks at your mid-monthly. Bye-bye.